Hello, just a few minor adjustments and we'll get right back to uh, working on the projects themselves. We're just th almost through with the companies. Um, I just feel that we should have a button here or somewhere here that people can use to create new projects, all right? I know we already have the link here. I think we should have a link or a button here. So um, that is the first thing I will create. Uh, to do that, I will simply copy the, the code we have for the link and uh, it's somewhere here. And then we convert it to a button. So we have it and then I'll pull up to where we have this. Now, if you notice something from here, what we can just do is to um, paste this guy here. This is a link. And then we start adding some um, cool stuff like to style it properly. So I'm just going to add a class and I'll pull to the right. I'll pull it to the right and then I'm going to make it a button BTN uh, primary. All right. So this is basically bootstrap trade code. So if I refresh, what happens is that we have this button here. Now I can make it smaller by just uh, BTN LG and instead of primary, I can just make it default just to make it um, to try a different color. Alright, so something like this looks cool, but it's LG is big, I can just use a smaller button. Okay, but then um, that simply sorts the problem for me. The next thing we're going to do is to get back to our list of companies. From our code, this just, this just retrieves the list of all companies. And uh, this says create new company instead of just create new, you understand? So we're going to try and change this to the narrative for this to what we'll do is to go to our companies index and then from the index we'll just say anything that says from here this guy just says create new company we'll just say create new and then um our code from the company's controller just retrieves all companies instead of companies owned by the a particular user if we go up to the index this is just all companies you understand it is not supposed to be we're just we're supposed to just list companies where um, the the user id that is the id of the, the guy that created is um the same thing as the the id of the guy that is logged in so we'll just do an auth um user and then the id of the currently logged in user so we're saying find all companies where the guy that created it is the same guy that is currently logged in you understand and uh, make sure that you actually import this auth facade because um, if you don't import it you can use auth here alright so this basically solves our problem you won't notice any difference because the current logged in user I think is the one that created this so let's just say I don't think so if not we have to go in and add it so it's refreshing you can't see it but I can um, from what we have it's as if we have an error of course there's the error that um, we're trying to get the ID of the current logged in user but we are not we have not even checked if the user is even logged in so that's what we're gonna do we can say if auth check so um so if we check uh, this guy is logged in so if this guy is logged in uh give us a list of um the yep so give us a list of the details of this guy but if he's not logged in you, you better redirect to um the login page so we're gonna say um where is our login page a login page is somewhere in the auth auth login okay so we'll just say auth dot login all right so the user needs to log in and um, that's just it so we'll test one more time and um, so this guy is asked to log in all right so this basically sorts our problem so far 
I would like to change this the login it seems plain white um, depending on what you want instead of panel default I can just say panel primary depending on the kind of design you want in your app all right good to go so if we're logged in um, what what else do we need to sort out so we just need to go to our database and make sure that at least um, you know the user ID is one here we we'll make sure at least uh, our company one or two companies is owned by this user because we created the companies from the database themselves created it directly from the database okay at least one company is owned by this user which means if we get back here and click on companies we should see a list of companies owned by this guy I'm surprised company with the user ID of one so instead of sorting it at the background let me show you how I'm going to figure this out from our database we have two companies with the user ID of one so let's just confirm from here that the logged in user has an ID of one what I'll do is to come here copy this user ID that we have here for the logged in uh, user and then uh, I'll do instead of a DD I'll just do a dump um, so when I do a dump once the program gets to this point it will exit after executing this particular dish it will exit uh, it will continue but then I will be able to see uh, the value contained in this so that is how to debug Laravel so I'll just refresh keep your eye at the top of this as you can see you can see it so I have to pan to the left as you can see here there is one that is the user ID of one so we're correct so what is the problem the problem is actually with our query our query here needs just one more thing at the end of it we need to say get that's how it gets to execute if we don't say get then we have to say if companies you understand so uh, get back to this place and we'll refresh we should now see a list of our companies and that looks cool so see in the next video we will focus more on uh, the project all right so work out the projects page in the next video